Good day, all, and welcome to another edition of Local Legislator Live at 11. I am your host, Charles Gates, and with me today is, like I say every week, a special guest. And this morning, we have none other than the CEO of Moy Capital and the founder of the Asian American Alliance, Patula Moy. Good morning, Patula. How are you? Good morning, um, Mr. Gates. I am doing well. Thank you. Good, good, good. Listen, this is a very informal thing. You know me as Charles. Let's stick to Charles. Mr. Gates is what the kids call me. <laughs> okay, but Tula, let's jump right into this interview. What is the Asian American Alliance and what areas do you serve here in Virginia? Okay. Well, before I tell you about Asian American Alliance, I would like you to, to tell you a little story. There is a clown in the park and he was blowing up balloons with heliums, and there is a group of children surrounds him. He filled the red balloon with helium, he let it go and he flew up the sky. And one child said, and pointing to the black balloon and asked the clown, will that black balloon fly as well? And the clown told him that it's not the color of the balloon, to make it fly is what is inside that make it fly. Mm -hmm. Those balloons are just like human beings. We all have different colors and the color of our skin does not define us. It's what is inside that make us who we are. And that's why we founded Asian American Alliance. America, you know, is a diverse country with all different races and nationalities, but peoples are not being inclusive in so many different ways. With Asian American Alliance, our motto is to integrate the Asians and the non-Asians leaders and professionals to influence diversity and inclusion through civic engagement with multiple cultures. And we can't kind of emphasize on what we call the three I's, which is impact, influence, and inspiration. And most people think that diversity inclusion is about racial relations, and it's more than that. It's that it's a diverse group of people that they want to be inclusive that they want to be belonged and they want their ideas being shared and the voice being heard. And the motto of Asian American Alliance is United We Grow. So we want to collaborate peoples to build a, a stronger community. Building a stronger community through impact, that is so powerful. Now your website boasts five key ways of causing an impact. And I wanna ask you to expound on each one of those different traits, starting with advocacy. How do you advocate? Well, you know, we advocate, you know, through raising awareness of diversity and inclusion through social media. We have a Facebook page designated for Asian American Alliance. And we have uh, posts frequently and also the issues that are related to diversity and inclusion and to just to bring awareness to the community that some of those issues exist because you can't find any solution if you don't, if you're not aware of the problems. Okay. Now you also mentioned programs. There's a lot of programs that you offer through education and youth recognition. What are some of those programs you offer? Well, our program is to try to teach and educate the community. We are going to have some virtual meetings in the near future, um, especially, well, we are going to have one coming up in April the 29th. What we do is to invite guest speakers to discuss about issues related to diversity and inclusion and also 
help them to offer some of the solutions to those issues. And we are going to have some additional program. One of the programs that we want to initiate is financial inclusive program. That financial literacy is one of the problems that, that people have and they many of them may not have access to the financial teaching. So we are going to offer that through our organization. Another programs that we're going to initiate is leadership inclusive program. We want to provide leadership training for people that want to learn how to be a leader and how they can you know, get on the table you know, in a boardroom and how to share their ideas and get their voice heard. As you mentioned, yes, we have a youth leadership program, which we already initiated. What we do is that we identify certain young people that shows leadership skills and they are influencing the community and we provide them with a scholarship. In fact, we already have our first recipient. Her name is Gabby Aldea. Gabby was born premature with multiple you know, medical condition. And in fact, she lived her first seven years of life in the hospital. She turned 21 last year and she was an advocate and activist for the insurance company to accept pre-existing condition. And we chose her because of her activism. However, or unfortunately, she passed away two months ago in her sleep. So, you know, we honor her, you know, to be our first recipient of the scholarship. Okay, great. Great. Well, you know what? I, we will keep Gabby in our prayers as well. And I'm so sorry to hear about that. But you said a lot that needs to be unpacked. And I just want to talk about uh, one of the things in terms of your event. Make sure you share that with us, Petula, so we can help you get the word out. Because one of the things we like to do here at Local Legislative Live at 11 is share information that is pertinent and, and important in our local communities because we may not know these things exist. So make sure you share that with us. And, and okay. having a seat at the table, there's a there's a, a program in, in Norfolk, I don't know if you're aware of it, through the United Way of Southampton Roads called Project Inclusion. You can say that I'm endorsing it because I'm a graduate of the program. But what they do and very quickly is they teach how they teach people how to serve on nonprofit boards. That is their mantra. That is what they do. So I, I would, I would, I'm definitely going to connect you with those people to make sure that you and your program are in the pipeline with Project Inclusion out of Norfolk. Now, Patula, resource you. connection. Resource connection is another one of those traits under the five causes of impact. Can you give us some examples of that? Um, of course, that we have resources connected to the government organization as well as the community organizations. We are focused on economic inclusive program that is specifically you know, focused on the SWAM program for the small women and minority owned businesses. In December, 2020, you know, City of Virginia Beach was offering a $10,000 grant to the SWAM businesses. And we helped them to facilitate and share the words to the community so that these businesses will apply, will be able to apply. And also we are involved with uh, Virginia Minority Business Commission, uh, Minority Business Council in Virginia Beach, as well as Norfolk uh, Economic Development okay. to help you know with that economic inclusive program. Okay, so you 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 all are out there, that is for sure. Now, in right. terms of press releases, are you simply 
putting your press releases in the Hampton Roads area of Virginia? Is it in the Richmond area? Is it the, the western part of the state? Exactly where is your targeted press updates? Well, our press updates, you know, that we put it on our Facebook page is, it includes locally, nationally, and also internationally, that maybe some uh, issues that related diversity inclusions that are happening in other country. I'm just going to give you some examples of what some of the press release that we have posted on our, our page is that when COVID started, you know, at the beginning of 2020, President Trump called it the Chinese virus. And because of him calling it Chinese virus, uh, many Asians American were being targeted with hate crimes. So there were some famous Asians American celebrity spoke up about the racial discriminations because it was called Chinese virus. And there are senators that urge the White House not to call COVID-19 as Chinese virus. So we have several posts based on that. And I think since then, we don't hear that call, being called Chinese virus anymore. And another example is that when George Floyd, you know, death, you know, um, being so unjustified, an organization of Chinese Americans uh, posted a press release to urge all cultures and all races join forces together to fight this injustice of George Floyd's death. So that, you know, we have kind of followed that and kind of give people some updates. And another one is that is President Trump try to deploy the DECA dreamers out of the United States. And the Supreme Court ruled that it was unconstitutional. So that those dreamer, DECA dreamer, particularly Hispanic descent, uh, was able to stay in the United States. So those are some of the important issues that is related to diversity inclusions that we posted on our Facebook page. Okay, great. I, I, I was under the impression that you were simply local, but you do have a national and international presence. That is quite impressive. Now, can you talk about your social recognition initiatives? Well, you know, we believe that, you know, to recognize people to do extraordinary things. So we want to recognize, you know, people that are doing great things in the community and share it. Just recently, you know, Urban Lead has award or has some recognitions for the community leaders that is did really good on diversity and inclusion. And I know that uh, Jonathan Scher, who is the CEO of the Virginia uh, Community Inclusion Center, is one of the recipient. So we congratulate him for that. And um, there is a young lady, her name is Christina Chan, who is executive director for the APA vote that she had promote the Asian American community to vote during the, the last presidential election. And another person that we want to recognize is John Yan, who is attorney and he is the president of the Asian Pacific American Justice. So his organization is talk about Asian Americans, uh, racial discrimination and injustice, and he bring it to the love, next level to the leg legislators. So we want to share of those stories about real life stories 
and real people to inspire others to do the same. Well, Batula, it sounds like your ear is to the ground and you and your organization are keeping up with the times and keeping us updated as well. Now, if, to our viewers out there, if you like this interview or would like to see more, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page. And most importantly, leave us a comment. Let us know what you like, what you don't like, if we need to do something better, and who you would like to see us interview next or in the future. We would do our best to get those people on the air. Now, Petula, what is your relationship like with the local governments? Well, um, I was the president of Asian Business Association of Hampton Row uh, for several years. And right now I'm the immediate past president. So with that capacity is that we work with procurement. So, and also the government. So, it's, you know, we have good relationship with um, Senator Warner and Senator Kane, and we work through their regional directors locally, um, like Drew Lumpkins and also Quina Daly. And because that we promote procurement, so we are uh, work with the city of Virginia Beach, the Minority Business Council, and also the <laughs> city of Norfolk Economic Development. Okay, well, thank you very much. I, I'm sure you heard my dog barking there. So, <laughs> some things are beyond our control. But, uh, Patula, you were also, you talked about financial literacy earlier, which right. brings me to you are also the CEO of Moy Capital. Tell us something about that. Well, Moy Capital is a financial company that people like us because of our experience. We are over 10 years of experience in financial and insurance uh, industry. Um, I have a MBA, which is a master business administration degree. And I also have a special destination called uh, LUTCF, which means that I did additional trainings to increase my knowledge so that I can help my clients, you know, with their financial planning. And I am the immediate past president of a, our professional organizations called NAFA, which stands for National Association of Insurance and Financial Advisor, uh, which is the longest, um, professional organizations in uh, in the financial and insurance industry. I specialize in comprehensive financial planning to individuals, uh, families, executives, and business owners. And what we do is to help our clients to have clarity and confidence in their financial planning. We collaborate with them to identify their financial goals and also develop a financial plans. We provide them with expert advice so that they can make smart financial decisions. And also, you know, one of the greatest fears um, nowadays is to live too long and to run out of money. And so when we work with our client, we initiate the retirement planning early so that they can accumulate money to live a worry-free uh, retirement. And I can't hear. A, a worry-free environment. You are definitely a busy, busy person. I had to put myself on mute there because my dog was going crazy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, but uh, Petula, you and I, you and I are also members of Toastmasters International. I would be remiss to not ask you, how has that helped you in your journey? Because you are such a busy person. Well, Toastmasters um, is a wonderful organization. And I've learned so much you know, through the program and also amongst the members that are in my club that I definitely learned about public speaking. 
since you know, English is my second language, that Toastmaster has helped me to communicate more effectively on a daily basis and also more confidently when I had to speak in a public speaking setting. It also helped me to develop my leadership skills because they provide leadership training to the executive officers and currently, I am the president of my Toastmaster Club. Okay, well, thank you so much for being so involved. And our last question for you is, how can we get more information about Asian American Alliance, Moy Capital, and what does the future hold for these two organizations and you? Well, I have a global platform called Go Research Me. So if you search me, you know, go research me and put Patula Moid and you can uh, see my global platform. But I would say it's that go to the personal Facebook page, Patula Moy, and you can see the business page for Asian American Alliance, as well as the Moy Capital that you can link to that. And when you go into those Facebook page, the website is also uh, listed there. And if you go to the Asian American Alliance website, you will see the five key areas that we discussed in this interview. And if you go to Moy Capital uh, website, it will you will see the, all the product and services that Moy Capital that we offer to our clients. And I would like, you know, your, your viewers to like the Facebook page so that they can be updated with um, information. And if anyone interested to be involved with Asian American Alliance, um, they can email me. And my email is patulamoy1 at gmail.com. The, the number one? Yes. Okay, patulamoy1 at gmail.com. Thank you so much, Patula, for your insight. And thank you so much for what you're doing with the community. Because we here at Local Legislator Live at 11, which is a component of locallegislator.net, our desire is to create a better informed electorate by making local government and business simple. And you and what you're doing, your advocacy and everything that you and your organizations are doing are simply doing that. You have that connection to the local government, which is making all of our lives simpler. And that is what life is all about. But thank you so much, Batula. And for our viewers out there, make sure you check us out next Wednesday, where we will have 96 district candidate for the House of Delegates Dr. Mark Downey. You don't want to miss it if you want to know more about what the House of Delegate does and, and more about this particular person that's running for a candidacy there. Make sure you check us out. Until next time, founder, CEO, Patula Moy, it's been a pleasure. Godspeed to you and your organization. Take care of yourself and we will talk to you soon. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Okay. Goodbye. Bye.